Last time on Game Wolf Plays Super Mario Star Road. Let's see, um, course nine is, uh, oh no! And now, back to Game Wolf Plays Super Mario Star Road. Hey everybody! <laughs> Welcome to Super Mario Star Road, still. <laughs> this is a, kind of the halfway, actually this video represents the halfway, so uh, the difficulty has scaled. The, po the pieces are set. Let us play. But Toad wants to give me something, some lore about this piano here. And yes, I have to jump into the note sheet. That should tell you what you need to know about this crazy shit. The piano playing flumps and bad musical mess. Um, it is a miracle that I got the video this, e this short. <laughs> you do not believe how crazy this level is. First of all, the fact that we're using Rayman music should hint to you that this is probably not going to be that easy! How many times do you think I could fall off on this level before giving up? Because, you know, if I count all the times I've ever played this level, and it's I think it's the level I may have died the most on, honestly. Like, not within this playthrough, but I mean, just all together. It can give you a real hard time. And plus, you have those bees that can just, like, unsuspectingly go right into you and knock yourself off, and you could do stupid shit like that, even when you think you know what you're doing. Because, I guess, for some inexplicable reason, the thwomp's head is just not flat! That's my one gripe with the thwomps, is their head's not flat. You think they could just be cubes, but no, we cannot make them cubes. That would be dumb. Ugh. <sighs> Isn't this level great? It makes me fear for my life! Oh god. <laughs> I was dreading this. <laughs> oh god. I mean, there's other levels you can fall off too, but this is like the, f this is the first level in this game that's just like, Oh no! This is the wake up level. This is the... This, you're not playing a normal game anymore. This is ROM hack difficulty now. Ugh. Oh, okay. Jesus fucking Christ. Alright, let's get on this guy. Oh man, I hope I can stay on his hand. Uh... Okay. Now, how can I get across without falling? A single jump! Ha! Psych! Sucks to be you. Sucks to be me. I'm the one who had to test this a lot. <laughs> it hurts so much to play this level. <laughs> uh, even when you know what you're doing, you have to like play more than once to have like the reflexes memorized. Mouth of the giant flute, which is way over there. But we're gonna have to take a pipe to get over there. I don't see myself long jumping that shit. I'd rather not. Foster must go down the acoustic guitar. So yeah, I like this is the first level of this mod in which it's a unique theme that you don't see very much. So a music level in Mario. It doesn't really happen a lot. I'm grateful. I like weird themes that are technically stuff to do with reality, and are just like really freaking weird like this. I bet you know I'm a fan of extract level design. You bet your ass. Non-Euclidean, please. Well, this is not Euclidean, but... I'm expecting someone who's in the Mario 64 coding, you know who you are, to make some non-Euclidean levels, please. Anyway, so at the top of the flute, it, it's a cannon, actually. It's gonna shoot you out. Woot! Now we must go through the French horn. Uh, oh shit. That could have been really bad. And there you go! It's just that simple. Just follow me and uh <laughs> jump cut to everyone failing this level entirely. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Watch your bearings, mate. Are we really ending it on 69 stars? Well, god damn it. 
Tricky Tambourine Trick. These are great names. And yes, it is tricky, actually. Like, doing it and also staying on. So, the star is exactly in the middle of the tambourine. And I bet you're wondering, how the fuck, Gaming Wolf, are you getting up there? Uh... Um... This took many a try to do rights. The funny thing is, once you get the star, then a one-up gets in there instead. It's like, yeah, that, that sounds about right. So we have to triple jump, but I have to do it from a point where the, um... Before the platform becomes wall, essentially. But the problem here is... Uh, analog direction and, like, the first N64 game with analog direction... It's kind of messing... It's kind of messing with me, you know? Like, we hadn't perfected how the joystick worked yet. And I'm, like, just kind of using this Logitech controller instead is just going crazy on me! <laughs> I didn't realize the flaw with this was the joystick and everything else is fine, but... Okay. What the fuck, man? So there you have it. Wake up, boys and girls. It's hard as shit in here. Fortunately for me, I'm not going to return for a while. Not until I have the wing cap, so... Let's just forget about that for now and go to course 10, 11, and come back after doing some of course 12. All right? I know. You're going you're gonna to be like, hey, I want to see the rest of that course. That sounds ridiculous. Nope, nope, nope. I'll come back when I have the wing cap. I promise. <laughs>